Welcome back everybody, it's been quite a while since my last channel update and recently we crossed 200,000 subscribers which is a huge milestone, thank you to every single one of you that has subscribed and watches the videos I create and I just felt like it was about time to like catch up and talk about the channel, where it's headed and just a couple updates that I want to talk about. So without further ado, let's talk about it. First and foremost, let's talk content. A lot of you may have noticed a shift away from the really formal content that this channel used to have. There aren't as many formal reviews as I used to do, and that's just kind of a shift because it's more fun to make casual, more interactive, and live videos. We still do formal reviews like every once every two weeks or so, but nowadays most of the videos are sort of like a blend between a tech vlog and a professional formal video, and it's a lot more entertaining to make the videos like that, and at least in my opinion, the videos come out a lot more entertaining, and it seems like you guys agree, so let me know if you do agree in the comments below. On the topic of content, let's talk Vessel and this is sort of a sensitive subject. I've seen plenty of people announce that they're on Vessel and it go very poorly and the people in the comments be like, oh, you're abandoning your subscribers and your fans that are on YouTube. Just want to be very clear. YouTube is my number one priority. Nothing is changing for the people watching on YouTube but I am also on Vessel now. And if you don't know what Vessel is, it's another video platform, but instead of watching advertisements before video, you pay either per month, I think it's $3 a month, or $20 a year. So I am on Vessel now, and most of my videos go up a week before they do on YouTube onto Vessel. So if you use Vessel and you have an account, go ahead and go watch me there. If you don't, that's fine. I'm not here to convince you to go use Vessel and pay for it. If you're on there, great. Uh, I personally think $20 a year is worth it because I watch a lot of videos every single day. So that that's not that much money per month. That's like a little over a dollar per month to watch no advertisements before videos. But obviously Vessel has a long way to become as big as YouTube. So if you have an account, go check me out, link in the description. If you don't, nothing is changing on YouTube. YouTube is my number one priority. You will not notice any difference. Yeah. On to the next subject camera upgrade. So in my last channel update, sort of update thing, uh, I announced that I was doing fake 4K, where I would record in 1080p, upscale to 4K in editing and in post, and then upload to YouTube in 4K for the higher bitrate. But now I'm happy to announce we are in real 4K. We recently upgraded from the Canon 70D to the Sony a6300 with a Sony 10 to 18 millimeter lens, mostly for the 4K recording capability and the higher bitrate. And we soon realized that the built-in non-touchscreen display was too small and couldn't zoom in for focus in some modes, so we picked up an external 1080p Sony display that has a bunch of useful features like focus peaking to see exactly what is in focus, a mode to check overexposure, and basic zoom for easier manual focusing. Overall, this camera has really impressed me and it was definitely a worthy upgrade. The first video shot on the Sony a6300 was the best surround gaming setup for $1,000, and we took all that footage, it was like 50 gigabytes of footage, and we imported it into Premiere with our PCs, and we instantly realized that that would not work. It was just the, the computer and Premiere could not handle that high bitrate 4K footage, we tried to put stabilization on it, and it just had none of it, it would crash. So, in the spur of the moment, we bought Final Cut Pro 10, we switched over to the MacBook, and we used Final Cut, and it worked a lot better. Even though it's less powerful hardware technically, it's more optimized software, so it handles 4K video a lot better, especially with things like stabilization, and the export times are faster. So yeah, we're kind of fully transitioned over to Final Cut 10 right now, and if you guys are interested, I will make a video about that transition and our thoughts. Just wanted to let you guys know. I also want to introduce Byron. Hi. This is Byron. A lot of you have asked in the comments, you know, why do you refer to the channel as we and who is the other guy? And I've mentioned him plenty of times and he's even, he's even done a complete dedicated video on the channel. Uh, but I just, I guess I should just answer it again. This is Byron. He is the editor at MS Tech. He also does a lot of the filming. And that is why I refer to it as we and not I, because there's two of us and that's we. Also, real quick before I head out, I want to talk about college. So a lot of you have been asking about my college plans, what I'm going to do in college if I'll continue the channel. So I'll answer that right now. I will be going to college next year. I don't know where quite yet, but I will continue doing YouTube. Byron will be going to college next year. He'll be going to Temple University in Philadelphia, and he will continue to work with me on the channel. 
and I do plan on having some sort of office space no matter where I go. Uh, I don't know where it's going to be and exactly what that situation is going to be because it kind of depends on the school and if they have a program that like it, that helps entrepreneurs on campus and stuff like that. But once I have that all figured out in a month or two, I will give you guys another update. But the channel's not going anywhere. It might go down to like two videos a week during college, at least for the first year. But you know, this isn't going anywhere. I'm definitely continuing this. This is an awesome job. Absolutely love it. Not going anywhere. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you to Nice for supporting the channel. Nice is the iPhone app where you can try tech products for five days before you decide whether or not you want to buy that product. If you don't buy it, you just send it back and you pay absolutely nothing. Right now, you can get an iPhone case for $15 that you can hold a bunch of stuff like cards and money in the back of the case with a little sliding compartment. Very cool stuff. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more content. And as always, stay classy.